All right, guys, this video is going to be on how to cut gusset plates. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, two sheets of four by eight plywood, three quarter inches thick, and we're going to go over how to cut uh, symmetrical gusset plates without using chalk lines or anything. All we're going to need is the seven and a quarter saw, tape measure, hammer, some eight penny nails, and uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So just like the wedge jig video, um, we're going to measure from the inside of the blade to the outside of the shoe again. All right, and then we're right about a inch and a half. You can call it an inch and nine sixteenths. We're gonna call it an inch and a half, and that's what we're gonna use for our measurement that we're gonna add to the twelve inches for our gussets. Our gussets are gonna be twelve by twelve, twelve by twenty-four, and then six by twelve. So they all have twelve in common. So that's what we're gonna use uh, thirteen and a half inches over. So what we did is we took two pieces of plywood, we tacked them together with eight penny nails. We measured over 13 and a half inches. All right, we measured 13 and a half inches over. Sorry, I lost the video. All right, all the way down. So when we're done, when we cut this strip, we're gonna have a strip that's gonna be eight feet long by 12 inches wide. All right, three quarter inch ply. So we'll go ahead and cut it now. We already measured our shoe. We set the depth of the blade so the material we're gonna cut, so we're gonna cut on a wood table. We can see uh, just past the, the material. That way if we're cutting on a wood table, we don't have to worry about cutting through the wood table. All right, we'll go ahead and cut one strip so you guys can see how it, uh, how it works. So we have our first piece cut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab that tape measure real quick. See how we did. There's that thickness right there. All right, here we go, 12 inches. So we're 12 inches wide by eight feet long. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna take this, these two pieces of plywood and since they're symmetrical, they're both four by eight. If we flip it over, the exact measurement on this side should be 13 and a half. So all we gotta do is tack it in and make another cut. All right, so we just flipped it, uh, retacked it, and if you look, without moving the lumber, we're at 13 and a half again. So the sheets were both four by eight. Like I said, it's only really gonna work if you start with two full sheets of uh, plywood. All right, we'll go ahead and give this a cut. Cool. Let's grab that other piece and put it up top. That way they can see both. There we go. All right. So there's the second piece we cut. And then what we'll do is we'll throw the first piece on there so you guys can see. It's kind of hard to see on the plywood. So as you can see, they are both identical. Okay, they are both 12 inches wide by 8 feet long. All the way down. All right. We're going to do this a couple more times until what all we're left with is a bunch of these. We'll stack these up on top of each other, then we'll show you how we cut the actual gussets themselves. All right, so what we're left with, we finished cutting, we did two more times, the same thing we did uh, before. We're left with eight pieces of three quarter, 12 inches wide and eight feet long. Now is the time to pick what gussets you want. So if you need full gussets, obviously if you have a tape measure laid out, you can go to a foot and you can do full gussets. So if I make my line, So here would be a full gusset. If I need a double gusset, I can just add, go to three feet, add two more feet to it, and I will make a mark. If we need uh, half gussets or six inches, we'll go six inches from, from that point, we'll go to 42, and then we'll make a mark, and we can go to four foot, so I'll give us another set of of half gussets. So depending on what size gussets you need, 
um, at the time depends on what you're going to make these marks at. All right, so what we'll do is we'll do a set, we'll do a full gussets, double gussets, half gussets. We'll go back to double gussets and then we'll go to a full gusset probably. All right, and cut them. All right, so what we did is we made all of our marks for the size of gussets that we needed. We're going to keep the uh, large speed square as a temp or as a guide so our, our cuts are nice and straight. If you guys can make freehand cuts straight, then you don't need this. But I like to show it just so you guys can see. It's going to be the opposite side of the shoe. All right, so we have a uh, full gusset first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and line up my saw to where I want the cut. I'm going to use the large speed square as a guide so it can make a nice straight cut. And then, I oh, by the way, I went and buried the blade. I, I actually shrunk it all the way up to uh, get maximum depth or depth because what I want to do is I want to go ahead and have a template when I'm done. I'll show you real quick. So we just made our first cut with our fulls. So if I take it if I take it off, we got three 12 by 12 gussets. Next we'll do a 24. This one's a little tricky for the thing because you have to freehand it. You got it down there, Hoss? All right, so we finished the first set of gussets. There's our halves, our fulls, and our doubles. All right, so everything looks good. Everything's pretty even. And then what we're left is we're left with our template. So we have fulls again. You have doubles. Here's your halves, fulls, doubles, and halves. So if you don't want the same amounts, you can change it up. You can obviously make these into uh, full gussets. You can not cut this line, leave this as a full gusset or vice versa. Turn this into six, uh, uh, six by 12 half gussets. So depending on what you want, if you want the same exact amount, you just have your lines already there. No need to mark it and you continue your cuts. All right, and then when you're done, you'll get through another three sheets. You'll have two left. So you have one template. I like to leave one of these for uh, the pads for my wedge jigs. Um, you know, you know, a little scrap piece of wood if I need to. So I don't, I usually leave the last piece for that. All right, well that's how you cut gussets that are even, no chalk lines.